Andrews and Pens podcast, episode 412 for Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. This is Brian. This is Eric. What's going on? How are you this morning? Excellent. How are you? Good. Did you, uh, did you know why? Did I know why? The coffee made a police report. A mugging. A mugging. A mugging. How much does a rainbow weigh? I don't know, but it's pretty light. What do you got going on today? <laughs> all right, all right. You win. How was Chicago? Chicago was... I did the podcast. I was in yes, that chair last yes. week. Lisa was in this chair, and you were gallivanting. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know that I used gallivanting. I do believe term, she but... told everyone you broke a tooth. She was... Uh, <laughs> she, I think she was home all of maybe an hour, um, and I didn't tell her. I didn't call her right away, but I was literally eating French fries from the Shake Shack, which if you had Love them, there. they're That's delicious. Our that is our sponsor this week. <laughs> Please send me bacon fries. Um, and half of a crown broke off. All right, yeah, we did. So, I made a point of saying you were in no pain because you weren't and you haven't been. No, no. And but, that it was a crown, not a tooth. And yes. you're getting that fixed today. Uh, yes, I am. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, she wasn't home an hour and I said, you know what, I'm not going to call. <laughs> oh, you waited. Because, you waited. well, because the, the last time we did this uh, was pre-COVID and I got there and my, my grandfather passed away. Like the yeah. day after I was there. Every time so. you go to take over Chicago, something happens. Yeah, something, happens. something happens. But no, it was it, it was a good time. Um, yeah, you were there by yourself. Yes. Run in the store. Yes. Did you make yes. any changes? Uh, not really. Not really. Just just kept it status quo. Status quo. Yeah. So it was uh it was good to see what's going on and uh, and meet meet a few people that are coming in. So. Well, plus, you had a nice dinner. Yes, um, I did manage to. You know, we used to go to Miller's all the time. Right, that's like a lunch place. Which is, yeah, and, and, and they really tr kind of trimmed down their menu. Um, they got rid of your meatloaf, didn't they? Meatloaf yeah. and Lisa's Cobb salad oh. and a bunch of other things. No need to go back there. No, you know, and we patronized them for quite a while. And so um, we decided, I, I decided I'm going to go to the Burkhoff. Okay. And that place is amazing. So uh, recommended? Yes, highly recommended. Five stars? It was it was as good as it got for me. I thought, okay. you know, good food. The, the beer was fantastic. You can take the beer home. You'd go again. I, I will go again. Absolutely. Will go again. Yes, yes. No uh, doubt about it. And Paisano's, of course, my favorite pizza place. Yeah, I had a pizza there. Yeah. Yes. So it was a good, it was a good trip. So. Was it the best pizza you've ever had? Paisano's. Or was it only the most expensive? <laughs> uh, I, it's, it's a little pricey. Um, you know. Uh, but sometimes they're really good. It's very good. Very good. Yes, it's very good. Their crust, their combination, their crust and their sauce, it just really, and I like their thin crust, and it's, 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 it's fantastic. Food. Food. Yes. Okay, we'll stop the food now. You came back from Chicago. I helped you come back from yes. Chicago. Yes, yes. Um, so on my way home then, I um, almost forgot about that. Uh, my car completely stopped. On the freeway. On the freeway. Um, lost all power, so... I was about 80 miles from home, and uh, I happened to be, literally, the car died at an off-ramp at an exit where there was a VW dealership right around the corner. So it was less than three-tenths of a mile. But you couldn't get there. You uh, but I couldn't tow. get there, so I had to wait an, over an hour to get a tow to get over there, and then... And then I get a phone call, and I think you've been, I've been, I think you've been back for hours, and you're at the store, and you're calling me, and I say hello, and the first thing you say is, how'd you like to take a road trip? And I'm all for it, but I didn't know. <laughs> I thought we were going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I went. So, somewhere. anyway, the car is still not still home, not so, home. but uh, get the bike out. And yeah, you've been biking, right? I've been biking, yeah, biking more, so. It's all good. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. good. Bike's good. You're good. You'll get your tooth fixed today. Pick up the car tomorrow. Maybe, yeah. What's going on with Hobonichi? Hobonichi, okay, round two. Round two. Uh, has been ordered. Uh, it has been confirmed. Right. They confirmed it. They confirmed. They yep. go over it and tell you we have all this stuff. Yes. You can, we're going to send it to or you. Or we can, you know, there were a couple items that we ordered that they, they trimmed down a little bit. Because they didn't have They didn't have not enough. because they don't like us, right. So, um, so it has been confirmed. Uh, then the next step is they take the shipping method, and then we confirm that, and we have just been waiting. Um, it's right, been about a week. So that's, uh, we're kind of arguing about it, because I think they're going to arrive next week. It's, it's very possible. you think it's probably the week after. Well, it, it's, I, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up just because... I want to. I want to get your hopes up. <laughs> 
<laughs> because next Tuesday, you'll wake up in the morning and get an email from Hobonichi, and it'll be an email from there Tuesday saying we just shipped it. And, it'll and then you'll look day. at the tracking and it'll already be yes. in Chicago because yes. it arrived yesterday. That's what happens. It's an international date line. Shipping from Japan is amazing. Yeah. Is it? yeah. So I'm hopeful. And you should be too. Well, it will... It'll be here They're bringing soon. my hobo, you know. So. Yes, I know. At I least know. I have a back-in-stock notification. <laughs> and we should mention that, even though we always do. Everything that is on the website is coming yes. in this next order. Yep. The final order for the year 2022. Yep. So if you want something that says coming soon, sign up for back-in-stock. And as soon as we get it in stock, you'll get an email. And you'll have to beat me to the one I want. Are we going to say which one it is? I did last week. It's the oh, okay. uh, Hobonichi okay. Cousin with the le black leather cover set. Now, now, is it really that, or are you just saying that to throw people off? He knows me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's All the right. same one I said so, last week. So. As soon as I know something, I will let you know. We'll let everybody know. Um, but it should, be, it should be very soon. Right, so. so we'll see who's right. I think it'll arrive next week. Okay. And you say the week after, okay. or later. You have all that... It, it'll be here this month. Yes. Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely. only the third. Yeah. 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 It doesn't take long to ship. So let's go to the Ember. Lisa and I talked about it last week, and I was amazed to learn on the air that she had seen it in person. Yes. And I guess so had you. Yep. Because it went yeah, to the Chicago store. Yeah. It was, at the, it was store. at the yeah. the Chicago store. And you have it now. Uh, this is maybe the most amazing uh, Homo sapiens. I'm going to say it seen. is. It is the most it's, amazing Homo sapiens. It's just something else. It's Carbon fiber, and then they weave a little copper, copper fiber in through through Beautiful. it. Um, and we'll show you close-ups of this. It's we'll get some. It's super super pretty. I, I do like the magnetic cap. Yeah. Um, and then the section is the same. It's got the the rose gold trim on it. Oh, just a beautiful it's, pen. And it's super pen. lightweight. Difficult to get. Don't wait if you're yeah, on the so, fence. So so here's the story. There's a story. Um, Limited edition of 288, but apparently for every pen that Visconti made successfully, they threw away five. Difficult to make. It's very difficult to make. It's very difficult to get perfect. Uh, and it, Visconti apparently has decided they're going to stop. They just stopped production. So they didn't, I don't think they made anywhere near 288 pens. Okay. Uh, and so it is less than 200. We didn't even get our entire order. It's gorgeous. So it feels so good. In the hand, it's a little back weight there. Yeah, you've got a little, you know, a little weight with your your metal um, in the back for the power filler. Double reservoir power filler? No, just, it's a, power just filler. a power filler. Yep, just a power filler. And it's magnetic a cap. Super cool pen. Slip caps are I so convenient. I, I I like these. I know a lot of people were saying, you know, when when the, the lava colors came out with this magnetic cap, um, that uh, you know it should have the hook safe lock, but I think this is just fantastic. This is more convenient. Yes, I think so. I mean, you can get around a twist cap and the the hook thing mm -hmm, that they put mm -hmm. on other pens, but the only thing more convenient is a vanishing point. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. So, uh, Visconti Ember, uh, we do have one in Chicago, uh, and then I have this one here, so what's on the website is Here's pretty much it. Yep. What do you call this one? This is the, the Lava Color, the Ultramarine, which I think is maybe... Oh, I love this one too, but um, this is a more approachable Homo sapiens. Approachable? Yes. Well, as a pair, you know, the the, 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 this is a price the, point. the, the Ember comes yeah. with a limited edition price point. So and carbon fiber and all. And that. carbon fiber and all that, all that. But goodness. these are gorgeous. This is a beautiful color. Beautiful pen. Beautiful color. It's got the dark trim on the nib. Um, it's just really a great, great looking pen. I and I do like the magnetic cap on them. And blue Dude. lava, and blue lava. Blue lava. You know, so it's colored lava, and it's, it's not just it's, a blue... It's not a subdued blue, it's a blue, blue lava. But it's nice. But go, go, it's go, gorgeous. Go great with this shirt, wouldn't you it? You should keep it. You should keep it. I'll, I'll take that one. You, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> that doesn't write. <laughs> I'll fix it, I'll fix it. And these are in-house nibs, too, so they have a different little different pattern on them. I've got a nice stub here, actually. Oh, so I'll take that one. My, that was one of my favorite nibs of all time, was... Uh, a Visconti stub yep. on a Wall Street. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Well, that was ages ago. Two guys walked into a bar. Third guy ducked. Um, we'll do all of Visconti right away. Sure, it's a new Van Gogh. Yes. The Novel Reader. 
the novel reader comes Sorry. a nice gift set because it comes with the ink, and that is a picture of the painting of the yes. novel reader. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if it's a, a, a person who is reading a novel or a, there's a, a, there's a an interesting the person reading a book. Yes. It's a novel reader. So it's very novel, but it's a beautiful dark dark emerald. Um, there's some yellow in it. This one's got, actually got a little bit of like a burgundy or a purplish in there. That one is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous. good looking one. Um, the yellow trim and then the yellow, uh, the gold uh, plated steel nib with the new Van Gogh, uh, the new Van Gogh nibs that they're How making. How many paintings did, I guess they're never going to run I out have, of I material. I have no idea. That, that's a uh, question for Lisa. I've picked a roller ball here. You've got a roller ball and then of course then there's a ballpoint. This one's got some nice yellow in the, the top. So Gorgeous. Of course gorgeous. every piece is different but Right, no two are alike. Um, find a medium on, on the fountain pens. And they're nice. Fits beautifully in the hand. Yeah. They don't really have a, a dark, they haven't had a dark green, so. No, and what color is the ink? The uh, ink. I imagine it's a dark green. Yeah, so it's a new, yeah, it looks it, like. It is a green. Lighter green of sorts. Beautiful presentation too. Mm -hmm. Look at the top of the box. Inside there's an envelope. <laughs> I like and that. And what's in the envelope? Well, it's a little book. It's hand signed by Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, <laughs> uh, junior. Junior. <laughs> it's the material that comes with the pen, but it's a nice presentation. Like if I were yes. planning to give somebody this pen for a gift. Yes. This is yep. nice presentation. Yeah. Speaking of gifts, I found these in your store the other day. This is a bulb syringe. Yes. Do you have bulb syringes? I do. <laughs> I got one for you. <laughs> and yes. Uh, you can never have enough. I, I I need one at every sink because you never no. know where you're going to be when you're cleaning a pen. And you've done something to this yes, one. Yes, I actually have a, I have a couple, and this one I've actually modified. So I, I cut it off about uh, what about a, a couple of millimeters, and then what this one I use for is this will fit over the back of Parker sixty ones. Oh, so it's so, specific. So yeah, well that and it'll fit over you know sections, smaller sections will fit over that, but I can squeeze that in there and then I can get even more water. Now, how do you use a bulb syringe? You're gonna um, clean a pen. Take the, take the section off. Mm -hmm. So I got my pen here. And I fill this with water and then I put it in the section and I hold down tight because you, know, you, you don't want it to, to be squeezing back at you and then I just squeeze through it. That's exactly what I do. And yeah. sometimes I find that this will fit over. Yeah, it'll fit over an international size. Right. Uh, and so it makes a good seal. Yeah. Not as good as if you're going to clean a sailor, though. You need that sailor made. Yeah, sailor, because sailor's that, got that's actually. a really good. The, the, their, their little tool is pretty cool. Which so. is a syringe. Yes. But with an empty cartridge on yes. the end of it that fits right on yeah. where a cartridge would go. Yeah. But these I like because they're good stocking stuffers. So I'm sorry to spoil the surprise, <laughs> but yeah, that's what you get because you can never have too many. Yes, no, I, 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 I do actually have. I, I I literally have two of these, and 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 I, I know some people who have them cut even further. So they yeah, have you another can make set. a whole collection depending on the number of pens. Yeah, and they're of pens. and they're they're actually labeled. You know, this is for Waterman, mm -hmm. and this is for this, that, and the other. Exactly. So and, and they're cheap enough that you can have multiples. So uh, Myora. Aventus. So Aventus. Myora is founded by um, Nino, one of the previous yeah. Delta Nino Marino. So you should trademark that name. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, we've had these. Yes. But I was in the store looking for stocking stuffers, and I found this one, the Unica. Yes. Which is absolutely gorgeous. They're all beautiful. Cool, They're cool all pen. very like, nicely made. Give me that blue one. The blue one, blue marble. They call it Impero. This Impero. is fantastic. That's, well, see, this one this. speaks to me, but that one is gorgeous. Yes. And what do you know about these? Well, these... Uh, what size nib is it? This is a, a Yovo number no. 6. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, and so, if you have any pen that uses a Yovo, we already know exactly how this pen writes. Yes. And they write fantastic. Uh, but the design is beautiful. They have a nice sculpted section here. Um, and it actually has a... Uh, a reminder of the old, some of the old deltas. You can actually unscrew the blind cap, and operate. Now, what you're operating here is the converter. The converter, yeah. But the converter's got an elongated knob on the back. Right. So when it when you just take the back off, you've got what people are calling a, a captive converter. Yeah, sort of captive. But they've gone a step further, and yeah. I don't like 
cleaning captive converters because you can never get enough yeah. water in there. I like to take the converter off. Yeah. This is a screw on. This is a threaded converter, my favorite. Yeah. However, it still takes cartridges. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Short so, international? International, yeah. It'll take long international. Whoops, put it on backwards. So you really get a lot of good things in one affordable pen that and is gorgeous. Gorgeous material. Handmade in Naples, I understand. Oh. You're gonna, you're gonna say I'm wrong about that. Oh no, I'm not gonna say you're wrong about that. But uh, a nice roller clip. It's, it's very, you know, it's, They're it's very, very reminiscent of Delta. Yes, yes. It's not surprising. Yes, not we were all, all very sad when, uh, when yeah. Delta became no more. Uh, so uh, I'm sure we'll show video of all the colors. That white uh, is outstanding, outstanding that's a isn't it? Perla. 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 Yeah. Here's Amore. That. The red one. That's cool. They have two black ones, one that is matte with palladium trim and one that is glossy with gold trim. Yeah, a classic so black you, and gold. You take and your pick there. You might need both. Matte's, matte's kind of neat. And then they have this one that's called a deep purple. Imagine that. Imagine that. Speaking of purple, don't we have a new purple ink around here somewhere? No, we don't. But it's coming soon, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sailor 50 states. Uh, two new. Two new. They do this about once a month now. Uh, they're, they've had a pretty, I mean, you got 50 states you got to run through, so they have a pretty aggressive that many now? S schedule. Um, Vermont. Vermont and, and Oklahoma. Where the wind? You're supposed to finish that. Anyway, Vermont's green. <laughs> and we were talking about Oklahoma. Oklahoma. What did we come up with? It's, it's a, a burgundy. Purplish burgundy. Purplish burgundy. Purplish but isn't burgundy. Bur isn't burgundy technically That's purplish That's what you said, and I said we would go with that. Burgundy yeah, so. is kind of purplish. So. What, what makes burgundy not red is the purple. Yes. I'm sure that's a lie, but someone will correct me. <laughs> um, so we don't have it here because it's coming it, soon. It will be, yeah, it, it was in stock, so we ordered it, um, and uh, it'll be here very That'll soon. That'll probably be here next week along probably. with the hope. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, I haven't seen these in real life, but... They are coming soon, very soon, yes. probably next week. Yes. The Schaefer icons <clears throat> look cool. These were announced last year and then with, with COVID um, really ramping up. Oh, okay. A whole lot of Schaefer's new stuff got set aside, but these are finally starting to come out. Uh, the Schaefer icon, which is going to be a, a hooded nib fountain pen. So we already had that uh, a few years ago with the Tyrannus. This is maybe a little more... Um, affordable version. The Tyrannus actually ended up being kind of a fairly expensive pen. And I this, haven't looked at the price, but I've seen the pictures. This is really the, cool. This is, and it's it's a little bit bigger pen too. So the Tyrannus was kind of a, a slender pen. This is going to be a, a decent sized pen. Some really cool color combinations. Um, yeah, ballpoint rollerball as well. It's something I want to see. Yeah, uh, and yeah. the hooded nib is cool to look at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think they did this one. I, I like this really one. Good. We'll sh we're showing pictures yes. so people can picture it for themselves. So I think it's going to be a fun uh, a fun pen to have. Do we know when it might get here? Uh, yes, just guess. Um, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Be here in two weeks, if not sooner. If not sooner. So Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to see them in real life. So, uh, the I'm pictures excited. look cool. Yeah. The, and I don't usually get excited about Schaefer. Well, Schaefer doesn't usually do new models. No. The, the, I've the, seen okay, what this, they have. And this year we're we're going to stick with the the matte green and the mm -hmm. matte black and and then that's yeah these what, are a little different yeah these these are these, completely these different. caught my attention yes we ha had a couple of late additions to the I mean very late additions to the podcast so this just came in yesterday this is a prototype a prototype um, it looks like a Penlux it I've is I've never heard of prototype um, it's uh, a Penlux masterpiece it's Delgado uh, it is inked Delgado uh, so what this is essentially is a, a I hate to use the standard size, full size um, masterpiece grande. So it's a piston filler with the number six Yovo nib. Um, in in basically, a, a, a is it thinner than the other ones? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it that is explains thinner. Delgado. Yep. Yep. Means thin, but I don't have one to compare it to. So. <laughs> Because uh, it feels fantastic. Yes. It yeah. feels great. It's, it's like Mont Blanc 146 How did you, size. Oh, or prototype. They said you're allowed to ink it up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Piston filler mm -hmm. and a very smooth rider. Yeah. So when did got, you get that? I, it, it literally came in yesterday. Ah. Um, it's got a, a clip that reminds me of the old Conway Stewart's with the little diamond on it. Mm -hmm. Then it's got the Penlux logo on it. Um, nice roller clip. Is this a new line? This is going to be a new so line. So it's not just going to be black. It's not just going to be black. 
Uh, they're going to have uh, more uh, colored acrylics, just like they do oh, with, the, with the, the Masterpiece Grande. Um, but uh, it, it's that it's, felt nice in the head. And yes, yes, and then we've got a nice ink window there. Uh, and again, this is a prototype, so they may make some changes yet. But uh, these are coming up very soon. It's um, gorgeous and wrote nicely. Yes. Yeah, we were. Uh, I shouldn't say we were surprised, but I mean, it's a, it's a really nice writing nib, uh, gold plated steel on this one. But, uh, and, and nice that you can unthread it. So on the Masterpiece Grandes, they're friction fit, so you have to so pull this them. One you, you can... You could literally interchange with anything so that, that has that... And as you know, if you watched last week, it's my preference for a piston filler, like a Pelican. You can untwist the nib yep. to really clean it mm -hmm. easily and quickly. That's a winner. Yes, yeah. And it's and it's priced... Uh, it's going to be priced in the, about the 150 okay. or so price for point. For a piston filler. Very yes, nice. yes. Very nice. Got a great joke about construction but I'm still working on it. Where did you get this? Well, do you, do you have one of these? You had one of these and then you sold it. I sold it. You, there is one left. What, is this it? This is it. So what happened here is a Sailor 1911 large Fresca. Um, we had sent this pen for a nib swap. Okay. And it, we had, of course, we had the September sale and- They all flew out here. They all disappeared. And then a couple of weeks ago, this showed up, and they had returned it from Japan. So we have one fresco. Have one left. fresca. Uh, and is it on it. the website? It is on the website. Okay. So, so if you didn't, if you didn't get it, yeah. that's your last chance. Uh, something's coming up this Friday. Fountain Pen Day. Fountain Pen Day. Fountain Pen Day. Fountain Tenth, anniversary. Pen day. Tenth anniversary. Tenth anniversary. Of of Fountain Pen Day started and nursed along by Kerry mm -hmm. himself. Yep. Mr. Fountain Pen Day, and this is a full decade. Yes, which is actually, I can't believe it's actually been that. Long. I can't either, although I've lived it, so yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> but it, he does such a great job. He does. He just does. promoting the love of fountain pens. Yep. Um, and anything special going on that day? So there is, um, is there anything special? As if I don't know. It's been occupying everybody's lives for the last couple of weeks. Um, we're going to have a, a pretty large sale. Yeah, a group of things that are a large going to be number of things. discounted. Make sure you're on our, mailer, on our mailing list because that's where it goes. You can also find them at the website. You'll be able to go to shop Fountain Pen Day, yep. and then you'll see everything. But yep. uh, be sure you're signed up for our, our mailing list because you'll get it Friday morning, and it'll be sort of a nice presentation. Yes. There's too much. If you if you just go to the website and go shop Fountain Pen Day, there's it's very, a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So if you get the the mailer, it'll be sort of segmented and more easily digestible. But yes. just plan on spending your entire Friday at AndersonPens.com because there's yep. so much. There, and there there will be a lot of discontinued things that they're very limited inventory on. So right, it could go fast. Um, it could go fast. I did notice. That there are really good deals on ink samples. Yes, uh, that's that caught my attention yes. because some of them are yeah. really good. Yeah. And you just you just killed all my ink sample sales for the next two days. <laughs> if you're thinking about buying ink samples, don't do it until Friday. Yeah, we should be honest about that. Yes, yes, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll give you that much, but <laughs> there is also going to be uh, another announcement. Yeah, I've heard rumors. There is a new pen coming out. We can't really. We say can too much? say who's who it's yes. coming from. Okay, um, Esterbrook. Esterbrook is going to be launching a brand new SD. A brand new SD, and they're launching it on Fountain Pen. On Day. Fountain Pen Day, this is just a, in honor of Fountain yes, Pen. Yes, this is a one and done. It is not a pen that says Fountain Pen Day on it. I do not believe it does. Uh, no, it no, doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. But they are releasing I have it on seen Fountain it. Pen I Day. I have seen it. It's, in person? Yes. Oh. I saw it in person. It's, it's pretty cool. You see all the good stuff. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> okay, but no, it's not, nothing in the description says it says Fountain Pen Day. Yeah. They're just releasing it on yes. Fountain Pen Day yeah. because it's Fountain Pen Day. It's very, um, very limited production and... Uh, it is a limited edition. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we, we've, been, we've been allocated essentially one order and we ordered and then... And we hope to have them by Friday. Yes, <laughs> yes, we do. Um, but uh, and then of course there will be there'll be Esterbrook swag um, with, with swag swag <laughs> with uh, with Esterbrook purchases and stuff too. So, but Esterbrook's going to launch a new pen, and there will be uh, stay tuned for details on a Sailor Pen giveaway. 
Uh, oh, I'm going to stay tuned because I don't know anything. He about doesn't it. know anything about I it. Don't know anything but there about will it. be a, there will be a sailor pen giveaway. Sailor pen. Giveaway. Um, you mean in honor of Fountain Pen Day? Yes, for Fountain oh, Pen Day. Okay. Yes, yes. So we stay will be tuned. giving away a a, a, a sailor. And, uh, and I we'll did not know this. Yes, I know. Surprise! It just it just it just Surprise. materialized. Did you just make that up? No. How does how does a person sign up for our newsletter? Uh, bottom of any page on the website. Andersonpens.com at the bottom of any page. Yep. Yep, scroll all the way down to the just, bottom. You just put your email address. Yep, just put your Hit email address. Hit go, yep. click, sign up, whatever it says, yep. and you're in like Flint. That's right. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. And they should join us next time for, oh, no, I just you just said that. Follow our blog for news, ink, reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And chicago.andersonpens.com, too. Yes. We, I, we should mention again that Chicago Carrie is... will be there in December. Yes, yes. December 9th, which I think is a Thursday, and you'll be there. Yes, I, think I will Lisa, be there. You'll both be there. Yes, day. we should both be there that day. And are you, you're working something, another one up for December that we can't talk about yet because it's not a done deal. Yes, that's but, correct. Yes. So, but Kerry will, what's he all, what all is he going to be bringing? So, uh, Esterbrook, of course, um, Auto Hut. Uh, he may have some Aurora, Monte Grappa, Monte Grappa, Y Studio. And Y Studio. Yeah. All those good things. Speaking of Kerry. Did I see on the website yesterday that there's another Rocky Top? We we found <laughs> another one. There were a few more. Okay. And they're they're, they're gone now, because they, they they keep finding them. And see, well, I got a couple more. Do you want? You mean they're gone? From, we have them on the website. We have them on the website. Right, I saw that yesterday. Yes. I don't know if that's true yes. today. Okay. Because I, I was surprised. We, we have a couple in Chicago. Uh, these are the oversized. Gorgeous uh, pens. It's Gorgeous. a really fantastic. Just, they keep material. trickling back. When yes. I think they're gone. I see another one. Yes, yeah. So uh, th there were a few you, more found, and you, you have know. a secret stash of them. I, I, you, you, I did not you, find them. You, okay. They, you, they, you, you, <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. You liked them so much, you put twelve I, aside, and Lisa's, I do like Lisa this keeps pattern. finding them, saying sell them. I do love this pattern. It it's, is gorgeous. It's, it's, That's you know, why I white. mentioned it. That's why I it caught my attention yesterday. I said, "What is this doing back here?" Do you want one? It's got gold trim now. Yeah, I just bought a gold trim, Mr. Brooks. Yes, I couldn't believe it. How do you like it? It's very nice. It's a happy pen. Yes. It was the Aqua. Uh, and every time I look at it, it makes me smile. And Good. that's why I liked it. Good. That's why I still like it. That's why I'm willing to put up a gold trim. Because it's a happy pen. I would have preferred it with the silver color trim. Yes. But it was just too happy to say no to. Can we wrap that up? Uh, Chicago is open seven days a week. Seven days a week. See Lisa. And uh, like this video and uh, subscribe, subscribe to the Subscribe to our channel because you love us. Bye. Speaking of gifts, I found these in your store the other day. This is a bulb syringe. And that is the door opening. <laughs> is there a cat there? Can't get through two doors. Which one? Oh my God. It would have been funny if she'd have got through and meowed. <laughs> I jumped up here. People are usually shocked when they discover I'm not a good electrician. Oh.